Megan Fox is back in an edge of your seat thriller called Till Death, which means it could be okay, or it could be like Journey into the Sixth Ring of Hell. Let's find out which it is. Before I grab an ice pick and really chisel underneath the surface of this movie, why don't you do me a favor and hit that subscribe button? It'll only take you a second. If you've already done so, then well, let's just keep going. Megan Fox plays Emma. And she's having a hard time. She's in a bad relationship with a man she doesn't even love. So she's cheating on him. <sighs> Coward. Just break up with him. Come on. You've been through worse. She has been through worse. She was once stabbed by a, by a convict who's recently been released from prison. That'll come up later. When I say she's in a bad relationship, <laughs> oh, I mean it. Because the plot of Till Death is simple. Her husband takes her into the middle of nowhere to a cabin they fell in love at and handcuffs himself to her. And then he blows his brains out on the bed, forcing her to think quickly to get out of this one alive. Is she gonna freeze to death? Or is she gonna find a way to chisel out of her handcuff? It's gonna be tough as he removed all instruments, all weaponry for her to use. Hey, remember that convict I mentioned like 30 seconds ago? Yeah, things go from bad to worse as the husband had the audacity to contact him before he died tell him the whereabouts of this woman, Emma. So he's been contracted not only to kill her, but to get the contents of a vault that's inside the cabin. Full disclosure, I now watch Netflix movies early in the morning when I work out. It, it helps me pass the time during my exercises, and I get some really good laughs at how bad these films are. That was not actually the case during Till Death. I found myself stopping my workouts at points to see what was gonna happen next. Are there silly circumstances that happen? Of course. Does it seem implausible that a 120 pound woman can drag a corpse across through the yard and the big snow and everything? She should probably be a lot sweatier. Do the bad guys that show up later kind of remind me of Marvin Harry from Home Alone without the charm and silliness? Absolutely. They're not very intelligent people. Yet all those things put aside, the film is shot competently enough and with enough skill that I found myself kind of excited about what was gonna happen next. A little bit fearful for Emma even though Megan Fox can't show any expression anymore because of all the stuff done to her face. I still was concerned for her. And to Megan Fox's credit, she is doing a good job here. She just can't show a lot of range in her face, but she's at least putting in some work. She's not phoning it in. And there's only like a million other starving actresses out here that would kill for this job and could do better. But still, that all aside, good for you, Megan Fox. I myself am also a sucker for these types of movies, the 127 Hours, The Buried, or whatever that Ryan Reynolds movie is called. You know, movies that are like bottle episodes of a show, phone booth, it, it's just one simple premise. It's a survival story like Gravity with Sandra Bullock where she's out in space and she has to figure out a way to get back home. Things like that where it's, it's, it's a person against all odds. And, and as things start to improve, more bad crap gets stacked on top like Matt Damon in The Martian. Just when you think he's got that potato farm figured out, boom, a gust of wind knocks the whole thing down. He has to start over again. I, I'm not comparing Till Death to The Martian or Gravity or anything. Those movies are far better. I, I just want to just make that clear. I'm just saying I enjoy the against all odds type of film. So to summarize, I was really looking forward to ripping this movie a new one and found myself kind of intrigued by it. Is it great? No. Is it good? Not really. It's just okay. It's an okay watch. It's like an hour and 20 minutes long. I will warn you, the first 20 minutes are terrible, terrible shit. Why they chose to have such a boring setup for a kind of interesting scenario, I'll never know but you just have to kind of plow through about 15 to 20 minutes of pure boring crap. And then you'll get to some excitement. If you're one of the five people that watch this like myself and want to say something, please say something in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Or maybe you just want to say hi. You can, you can do that down there as well. Again, I implore you to subscribe to the channel, like the video if this was mildly entertaining like this film was, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care. I will say this about Megan Fox. I miss her in the Transformers movies. Remember when they replaced her in the third one and then again was replaced in the fourth one by someone else? They just kept getting worse. Megan Fox at least had something to her. You know, she had she had more than the hotness. She had a little bit of sass, a little bit of go girl attitude that the other characters didn't in the future installments. So even though there are a lot of, you know, struggling actresses out there that could have done this role much, much better, I guess I'll, I'll give her something. She had something.